there's another piece of software that we have that you can get on the resources page. As a matter of fact, you get both of those on the resources page. Let me just show you. Okay. Mojicrew.com. And you go down to the resources page. And there's two tools you want now. Okay. One of them is the sleep tool. Get it here. Here's the instructions in a simple Word doc. You can just open the Word doc to read it. Let me just cancel out of that and open this. And there you have it. These are the instructions. Okay. That's a piece of cake. And then to get it, just get it here. All right. And then download it. But don't open it. You need to save it this time, right? Because you have to save it as something like on your desktop. You know, put it in the right folder in the end. But that's just the idea. And that way you can move it where you need. And when you first download it, it's going to be called sleep.exe1. Rename it just to sleep.exe. Like that. And there it is. It's perfect now. I can move it wherever I want. Okay, I didn't happen to need it. Because I already have it. But there you go. That's how that works. All right, so what's the other thing I wanted to show you on the resources page? Whoops. Right there. Um, where is it? It is the search and replace tool. Awesome, 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 awesome tool. Get that. <laughs> Download it, install it on your computer, and then, for instance, move the icon to run it down here into the lower toolbar somewhere. It doesn't go in your folder. It just goes anywhere in your computer. You just install it. And then when you get the icon, it'll show up here. I always like to drag mine down into the lower toolbar. You don't have to. It's just an easy way to reach it while you work on things. It's called search and replace, and it just looks like a little text file with a magnifying glass on it. Okay, so how does search and replace work? I'll show you. For instance, let's open these up and look at them. Okay, I'm going to load that first one up. This is set to 1,000, upload to the server, and here's the, um, the name, and here's the name of the project we're doing right now, right? These are things that we could change. Not only that, these are things we could change all at once, and you'll see what I mean in a minute. It's all uniform, though, right now, right? Building websites, 1,000, check mark, and of course, that's got to be building websites, too. So let me check the other ones. Building websites, 1,000, let me check the rest. See if I'm starting off in the same place every time. I am. And the last one, building websites. And actually, yeah, um, whoops, that was checkmarked, yes, and Moji samples. And that's all the same. Now that I know that they're all the same, here's the cool thing. If you go to run the search and replace tool, you can make universal changes all at once. And that means this. If I right click one of these and hit open with notepad and look at what it looks like in here, there are certain things I could figure out really easily. I can see the project name right there. I can see the file count right here. It's the beginning and the ending of the file count command, right? I can see what else. I can see, what did I want to say? True, upload to server, true or false, either with a capital T for true or a capital F for false. Okay, and you can just make a change and see what the name would be if you changed it, just to know. But all of that, I can just mess with all at once across all my profiles at once, right? So here's how we do it. We need to know what the directory is to search for files. Well, we want to search for these files, so we need this directory. Watch this. I copy it, and because it already has a C, I want to make sure to overwrite that. Paste. Okay, good. I do not want to include all the subdirectories. That's these things. It's going too far for my purposes. I just want to deal with these right here. Maybe on my all the stuff, I would want to do something different with these, but I don't want them touched right now. I just want to deal with these five here. And watch this. I do want all the files, just not all the subdirectories. Now, what can I change? I can change something with something else, and it'll change all of them at once. Ready? So let's change something. Open with Notepad. Let's say instead of upload to server is true, let's say, and I'll just be like this to be really careful, okay, just to make sure I don't get any other wording in there accidentally where the word true could be somewhere on this page for a different reason. It'll, it'll copy whatever I put in up here down below, makes it a little easier, and I can set it to false. Whoops, 
spell it right. <laughs> and I may as well close this because I want it included. Okay, but watch. WAP. Now watch. It says right here, updated five files. That's these five. That makes sense. Now if I open it, guess what? It's not checkmarked. It's false, right? And that's the same thing with the other ones. So I just changed all of them at once. So let's do another kind of change. Let's say this. And I probably want to close out of there so I don't accidentally save over anything too. Okay, let's do this. Let's say we want to go from, maybe we want to test. Whoops, open with Notepad. So we don't want to do a thousand pages all at once yet. And if you don't know where it's at, just edit, fine. Do like a thousand. Bap, 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 bap. Boom. There it is, right? I can find it. If I if my cursor was down here, I would have to search up to find it, you know. But it's good. So let's, again, just be sensible enough to catch what we need. Copy. Okay. And I can say, whap, change that from 1,000 to 30 because I want to test all these things. There, updated five files. And so now if I open any one of them, any one of them at all, it's 30. And don't upload to the server. Isn't that awesome? Absolutely cool. Um, let me see. What else would I want to change? Oh, yeah. W what about the project name? Open with Notepad so I can see it. See how it says building websites? Maybe I'm ready to do the internet marketing bit. So I just want to be careful to be really exact. So let me... Oh, but I want to get the domain name and the FTP information all at once. So let me just be sensible about it this way. They both end with this closing caret bit, right? The closing caret and the slash. So I can just do that. Again, I'm still being careful. I'm going to get the slash in the beginning and the closing information at the end. Boom. And so now I just got to change that from building websites to, let's say, internet marketing. Was that marketing or advertising? What do we say on here? Because I'll show you how it works real soon. Internet advertising. All right. Okay. Close this. Replace. And I think it overwrites it whether it's open or closed anyway. But now if I open any one of these. <clears throat> look at that. It's all set for internet advertising. And down here, internet advertising. 30 don't upload to the FTP server so if I just want to do this quick so you can see how this works let me do this change again and just showing you how it works again from the beginning I open this is the place I need to go overwrite the C boom not the subdirectories but all the files and I want to replace let me see open with notepad I want to replace this with where it says false control C to control V to true and I could close it or not it's gonna be alright I can actually leave it open and I just happen to know it because what's the one I'm on one BWT main if I do it again it is now set to true so it's okay to leave it open now, what was the other thing I wanted? I don't just want to put up 30 pages. It's like too few for it to even fill in. Let me at least put up 100. Control V. So let's do 100. And that's good. And so now it is going to upload 100 pages, and it's going to go to the new folder I created called Internet Advertising in every case. So how do I run it now? Now that I did that, I can hit all these batch files. It's okay that they're in a different folder because they know exactly what the profile path is. That's why I can put batch files anywhere I want. And so here I can actually run it. Bam, and here. Let me just do it this way by moving it to the side. Bam, bam, bam. And I can walk away. Each one of these knows how long it's sleeping. All right, and then the one that's running right now is running right now. Okay, that's this guy here. It always shows a black window while it runs. If I want, I can minimize all this stuff and work on my computer, like so. And I'll just let it work. And I can even start to watch it begin to fill in those pages now just by going here, okay? Chances are, okay, one of them got up already. 
<laughs> okay, it doesn't have all the side pages in yet, I'm sure. Like if I go to um, related links and hit one of these, it may or may not be up yet because it's working. But look at that. That one filled in. Let me um, let me refresh like all. How do you refresh all? Well, let me just refresh. Let me refresh. Let me refresh. Let me refresh. Yeah, because why? They're still sleeping. Okay. Two of these are on a roll, but the rest are still sleeping. I can come back and check anytime I want. And I'm actually just doing four of them, right? I didn't do the one for Moji Samples, just keep it in mind. So like Moji Samples is which one? The one on the end. So I don't even need to see that one. But this one and nothing else is fine. It's just generating the pages. I just got to wait for it, but it'll get them done. And when it does... And when it generates, it doesn't generate the index page first. So it's generated sub pages before it gets to the index page. That's how it works. But it's going to finally put them all up. Now, isn't that neat? And yes, you can actually, there, there's another one starting to run. So we're going to see something else happen too. See, they always pop up when something new starts to run. We just got to wait. But whatever. Just showing you how it works. Oof. And so this is cool because, again, I can put these into my task scheduler and have it run these things whenever I want. And I can make universal changes to these things once a week or whatever if I want to do new projects or just leave them the same and keep putting pages in the same projects. Isn't that really something? I mean, this is how much crazy power we have. When I do a project for a guy, I'll change the project name across 33 profiles all at once with that test real quick with a small number of pages, uh, uploading to FTP, and then switch it to a large number and run those up. And uh, and walk away while my computer does the work. And if I want to have my computer automatically add new pages all the time, I can. You know what's really cool? You can set all these profiles up and transfer them to someone else. Anyone else who has a software, you can set up his project form inside the V2 folder. And then you can send him his related stuff. You can send him just what he needs for his stuff. The two VARs, the index and the unique, which is what you need to send him the profiles he needs, whichever profiles he has, and the batch files, whichever batch files. And you can arrange them in any order. You can put the batch files right out here in the front and, and um, you know, put everything else on the side. He doesn't need to know anything except hit the batch file. You know, that's, that's it. And it just produces more pages for him. And it can happen like once a week. And that's easy. And for people who say, what if I want to do that with clients? The answer is, this is why we now allow people to buy individual licenses. Some of you are actually taking this on. It's right here, additional licenses. If you're doing projects for other people and you want to send them a copy of the Moji Pro software with their completed project, then you're charging them like 1500 bucks. And I just got off the phone with George a while ago. He said one of his guys walked into some shop and walked out with cash uh, in hand, it might have been like 1500 or so, to do a run for him. Well, isn't it neat if you can not just do a run for a guy? Because who knows how much link juice he's going to get from one run, one backlinking run. But if, if he can give you the website and the domain, or if you want to buy him for the guy and actually own him yourself to do other things with if you want, then you can turn around and you can send him a copy of the Moji Pro because you buy it from us right here at Wholesale. All right, and then you send it to the guy with his completed profile. So you're giving him unlimited power. You're giving him the ability to generate more and more backlinks however he wants. If he wants to do 250 new ones a week for his, each website he has, you know, you can pre-build it and send it to him. And he does the work by just hitting the button, okay? And you collect your pay, however it is you charge him. And so if it's 1500 up front, minus 400 for this license here, minus maybe the hosting for the first year, 85 bucks. Let's say it took you 500 bucks and you charged him 1500. Well, that's a grand you made just for doing that. Isn't that crazy? And he doesn't need to understand anything about how it works. You just hand him the completed program with a completed batch file. You just tell him, see that button? Press it once a week. Just remember to press it once a week. That's basically it. Now that's crazy, but that's where we are today. That's really how far we got. And that's just what makes all this stuff insanely cool. I mean, you're doing so much work. Look at that. Now I got pages up on 
all of these except for Moji samples, which we didn't add in. We could have, we just didn't. So we're already getting all this to go. And all the sitemaps are done. We can submit them to Google. We can do everything we want to do with them. You don't even have to submit them to Google. As long as Google knows the website's there, it's going to find these things. Okay? And you can literally just go into any of this stuff, you know, any of it works. And then just get down to the related links, whatever, run, you know, choose something else, choose a sitemap there, whatever. I mean, it's all done. And that's just awesome. Really, really good for you. Okay, that's how that works. And so now you understand how the batch files work and how to use the sleep command and how to use the search and replace tool. It's all just <laughs> makes work really easy. How long do you think it takes me? with a full profile stack with all the stuff to change all of these profiles for the next project I want to run, do testers and run them out. It takes me minutes. And then I just go to the batch files for this stuff. And I just go bip 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 all the way down. Look, edit. No sleep command. It's the first one. Look at this one though. Edit. It's got sleep 100. That gives 100 seconds for that file to get generated out. This one, 200. The next one, 300. Okay? And then by the time we get to the bottom where we at, edit, it's 3,100 seconds it sleeps. But all it means is before I walk out the door, I can hit all these buttons once and just move the window over so I can do it all at the same time. Just hit all the buttons once, you know, bip, 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 and then walk away. It takes, I could hold my breath and hit all these buttons <laughs> one at a time and then walk away. It'll be two hours later, 33,000 web pages are up on, you know, a thousand web pages per site times 33 sites. That's exactly what you saw there. And of course, this we didn't do. But you can check them very quickly and easily and make sure they're up and make sure everyone's happy because everything's connected. You know, there you go. And that's what you can set up for a client. That'll blow his mind. If he can hit a single button, and then after that, he can visit his website, and he can check that path you gave him to authenticate it, and he sees what's going on there, and he can hit his related links and see all these pages, and he can hit one, and he can check the links, and they all work. They all click through to pages. That's just awesome. It's a stupid, simple way to just set a guy up with complete backlinking runs, and you just show him, how many pages he has now that point at his website with the keywords he wants to show up for and he just keeps adding on and adding on and adding on and adding on until he gets to the top of Google for all those things. Ain't that cool? And the last thing that went with that is you really want to teach him how to do um, or how to create new keywords, you can go one step further. You can have your batch file button down here, but you can also say, if you want to do new keywords, open this, change the keywords, close it. If you want to promote a different web page, open that, put in the new web page, close it. Then hit the batch file. You get it? It's, it can be that simple. It just depends on what you want to do. Come up with a plan, put it out, there you go. Do it for yourself, do it for others. That's cool. All right, that's all I had to say about that. <laughs> so whatever's next on the agenda, I'll look into it, see what's next on the agenda, and we'll do that video next. Okay.